previously, we met the notion of an expression. As any sequence of mathematical symbols that represents a number. Up to this point, however, the only symbols our expressions have included are numbers and symbols for operations. So examples of expressions we've seen before. We've seen just single numbers. Single numbers that happen to be expressed as fractions. Or expressions that include several numbers with operation symbols connecting them. And so on. This kind of expression is called an arithmetic expression. But there's another kind of expression that we're going to be very concerned with as we move into algebra, and that's called a variable expression. Recall that we've met variables before as well. A variable is a letter or other symbol that stands in for a number. An expression that includes variables is called a variable expression. So we'll say that an expression is either arithmetic or variable, depending on whether or not it contains any variables. So here are some examples of variable expressions. We might just have a single variable by itself. We might have an expression that looks like this, 3y plus z. We might have variables and then also some arithmetic. Things to notice in these variable expressions. When we write multiplication involving a variable, we don't write a multiplication sign. So when I wrote 3x, that means 3 times x. Also note that when we write a variable expression, when we're writing a variable expression, we should always use the dot for multiplication because the little x shape looks too much like the letter x. Finally, notice that we can use whatever letters we like for variables. We don't have to use the letter x. If we use several letters, each letter might represent a different number. Remember, the same letter has to represent the same number each time we see it. Also note that capital letters and lowercase letters represent different variables. So if I write capital A plus lowercase a, that represents two different numbers being added together. So these are all things that we need to be aware of with variable expressions. This bit about the capital letters is really important and something you should start getting used to now. Don't get into the habit of writing capital letters and lowercase letters interchangeably. A couple more terms to describe expressions. An expression is said to be linear if it contains no powers of variables other than the first power, which just doesn't do anything. No variable sub-expressions multiplied together, and no variables in denominators, and no variables in exponents. So some examples. For linear expressions, we might have something fairly simple like 2x plus 5. We might have several variables all added together. We might have even something kind of complicated, as long as we never have anything that breaks any of these rules. So what might, might it look like to have something that's not linear? Well, if we have just x squared, that's a power of a variable other than the first power. If we have x times x plus y, right, here's a variable sub-expression, 
and another variable sub-expression, and they're multiplied together. Here we have 4 over x, x is in the denominator, and uh, 3 to the x power. There's a variable and an exponent. None of those are linear. If our expression doesn't break any of the four rules for a linear expression, then it's linear. The other way that we will characterize expressions is by how many variables they have. So we might describe an expression in one variable or in two variables and so on. What we're counting here is the number of different variables, not the number of places that variables appear. So for example, this expression, 2x plus 5 minus 3x minus 6, it has two occurrences of the variable, but it only has one variable, namely x. It doesn't have two different letters.